What's going on, Knuckleheads? GCAM Gaming here with another LEGO Legacy Heroes Unbox video for you. And today, I'm bringing you the second video of the day, actually. It's Double Video Monday, because you know we really do that stuff here. I'm bringing you the Hiker Rework. And this is a short, sweet little video, right? Coming out a little bit after the demolition dummy video and I wanted to do them on the same day I thought about doing them in one video but I said you know what Haiku needs his own video you know we really got to do that for him uh it's not much going on but I do want to talk a little bit more about Hiker and his viability and where he stands in the current meta now but let's take a look at what they changed about him all right so he heals all hero for 40 percent max health still that same AoE heal but now that 10 percent bonus heal is also not only going to city it's going to collectible so he's getting himself I always like to try to run Hiker with City, but it never works out because he doesn't have the City tag. So it's like, if he had the City tag, he would be amazing with Arctic Glider, but he doesn't, right? So I'm hoping that the healing that we're gonna get from the Lego house combined with his heal is gonna make for a lot of sustain with the collectible team. So I really do think him with the Lego house, you might be looking at Hiker, retaking his spot as the top healer in the game now he does he's now gonna have a 50 percent aoe heal to his team 50 percent of his health anyway which he's got a pretty fair amount of health he also has a 70 percent chance to gain grit up which is always good you don't want your healer getting debuffed especially speed down that's something you don't want on your healer i also like that they buffed up his passive a little bit All right at the start of each turn he now has a 50 percent chance to grant the hero with the lowest defense, or with the lowest health, defense up two for three turns. Always love that passive, right? Wish it procs more. They gave it a little bit of a bonus. It's gonna proc half the time, so that's pretty cool. And they added something. If the hero is collectible, they're also gonna receive skill up one for two turns and three stacks of heal over time for two turns. That is a nice little buff that they added that's gonna be really good with this collectible synergy. So, the way I'm seeing collectibles right now, there's going to be two types of teams. There's going to be two new teams in the meta. I really, really do think this. And of course, I still have reworks to see. I think just based on what I've seen so far, I think the costume team is going to be beastly on its own. And Captain Gogo -Go did just say yesterday, the Lego house is going to provide healing for costume figures. So, that's pretty dope in and of itself. It might also work with collectibles. Not exactly sure. Haven't seen that rework yet. But I do think there's going to be just a straight up collectible synergy, right? Um, Chicken Soup Guy has a really good synergy with Yeti now. Yuppie is getting a rework. Highwayman is getting a rework. Hikers has now more synergy with the collectibles. He's now doing an AoE 50% heal to his whole collectible team, right? So I do think you might start seeing not just costume teams. You're going to see mixed costume collectibles or just collectibles not costume you're going to be seeing a lot of different combinations with these reworks and it's going to be kind of fun to to find out what works best and what doesn't work best but i think there's going to be at least two new teams that we're going to see around the meta but that's just my prediction well that's pretty much all i got for your knuckleheads please remember to smash that like button hit that subscribe button ding that little bell for some notifications and as always remember to Knuckle up. Yeah, I'm so high, no, I'm